gosh, it's Sarah Kennedy and friends. I am Sarah Kennedy. I have a whole pack of friends for you tonight. Uh, we've got Sally Ann Hall. We've got Carla Vasquez. We've got Imagine Nathan, a real wizard, and then plus a whole bunch of uh, video assets and fun pizza things. So we got videos from uh, Mike Ogden and from Tyler Jackson and from Zangolia. And then, of course, pizza from Richie B's, which may, I mean, it's, we're on the internet, so it's going to be hard to share, but let's try it. Yeah, it's Sarah Kennedy and friends. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this Thursday night, a little bit after seven. Um, I promise not to keep you very long, but I will pack out this time that we spend together with uh, so much fun stuff to do. Um, if you've watched our previous episodes, you know that I usually kind of uh, put together like a little piddly uh, monologue. I did not do that for you this week because we actually have coming a little bit later, a full on real topical joke segment from Tyler Jackson. So uh, what I did work on this week was focus on improving my interviewing skills. I get a little bit nervous when I bring my friends up in front of all, all y'all. Um, and it's not because they make me nervous. They're my friends. I love them. Uh, it, I don't know. I just There's just something about it where I want to make sure I'm asking them interesting questions and giving them the opportunity to do interesting answers. Um, but I found something today that helped me feel a lot better about <laughs> my interviewing skills. And I decided to share it with you. This is um, uh, seen already now as a, as a talk show host, I should have a better way to set this up. Uh, this, this is a found video um, compilation of a talk show host from the seventies and uh, her style of interviewing. So please, please enjoy this. This is so, so dang good. Let's let her rip this morning. You got to work with Burton, Richard Burton yes. and Tempest. Yes, I did. And now he's dead. Yes. Do you know who his dad is? His dad, you watch Bonanza. I'm sure you watch the reruns of Bonanza. Who's the sheriff on Bonanza? Bing Russell. Is he still alive, Kurt? You've done some brilliant pictures. You've done some stinkers. Really? What happened to Heaven's Gate, Sam? What happened to Bosom Buddies? We were canceled. <laughs> did you see the movie Raiders of the Lost Dark? Have you seen it yet? Yes. I did. It's you a know, wonderful movie. Do you know that he turned down the role of no, India? I, didn't. I heard that you turned down the role, that you were offered the role. I wouldn't turn it down. Do you have any regrets about not going into the series for MASH? No. No? They've all made a fortune, Elliot. Then that little movie you did with him, Wild River, what was one of his few flops. He look he looks evil in many ways. Um, can the camera come in and take a, a close up? Look at these eyes. Have you ever seen eyes like this? If you look at them real closely, what do you see? Look at, look, look. Do you see that ring around the outer edge of the eye? What, what is that? I don't know. It's an <laughs> old family trait. My father had those. It's a ring around my moon. <laughs> well, this makes a most fascinating look. You really look terrific. <laughs> Thank you. Are you into yoga or exercising? No, I, I or exercise. Eating right? uh, you might just whip one out. I might, I might <laughs> no, just whip one out. There I am. Listen. You don't know to whom you are speaking because you and I go back a few years, but you weren't a model. No. What size are you? <laughs> um, Tom, how do you kiss underwater without bubbles coming out of your nose and mouth? <laughs> Let me ask you, how would you feel as a mother if your daughter were involved with your former love? Personally, how, how would you react to something like that? <laughs> you know how invaluable your voice has been to you over the years. No, baby, tell me. Perfect. Oh, I mean, oh. we can we do that? You're a new father. Can yeah. we do that? Can we? Of course we can. We can? It was let's, based let's try on it again, on the website. <laughs> mm, it works, yeah. it works, it works. You don't consider yourself a great actor, do you? <laughs> So I'm fairly certain that I'm going to do better than that tonight, um, <laughs> but we'll see. I mean, that's what you guys are here to, to, to view and to keep me on track. So you guys have the opportunity, if you are watching on YouTube or on Twitch, uh, we have a pretty active comment section over there and you can definitely um, contribute. And if you say fun, nice things, I might show that up in the right, right here on the screen and then also interact with it and have our performers and uh, guests interact with it as well. Um, if you say mean stuff, it's get, it gets so ignored. Um, 
So don't. And also, uh, you know, let's go ahead. Oh, let's let come on. Now, no, we're, we're not letting it rip. We already let it rip. Campus. We already no. did with the ripping. There it is. Sometimes I have to yell at my own slideshow. <laughs> All 20 of you, 21 of you watching right now, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and you're about to receive uh, just a full treasure. Um, I am so excited that we get to start off the night uh, with our first guest. Uh, she is one of my most favorite performers. She's incredibly multi-talented. Um, I knew she was funny from performing with her and producing shows that she was in. Uh, and then I got to go to karaoke with her one time and she brought the house down. Um, and she, it's because she's also an incredibly talented professional singer. <laughs> and so uh, here tonight to perform a song for you uh, is one of my favorite people. She's been featured on Vice. You're going to love her. Please welcome Sally Ann Hall. Yes. Oh, my God. That was an epic karaoke night. Sarah, 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 your taste in music is exactly what you would think. Oh my God, it was a blast. Fucking love you. And I love that clip of that lady interviewing people. I, I believe she's a gay icon now um, and deserve, deserve. Uh, I I would love to be a gay icon. That's like, that's really uh, my only goal in life. Uh, I've been, uh, I work in a gay bar. I, I've lived in New York City for 10 years this summer, quarantine. My 10 year anniversary passed. And um, I do, I, I work in a gay bar, even though I'm mostly straight, I like to disappoint everybody around me. Um, and actually working in that bar is what gave me COVID. Yes, a British person was ordering um, into my mouth. And I think, no, I think they were trying to like tell me what fanny means in England. And then I was trying to explain what tipping means here. So anyway, we all got COVID. And here's a little song about me reminiscing about my time in New York. I've had a lot of time to reminisce. All right. And I don't always, and I don't usually play my own piano. <clears throat> it's been 10 whole years in New York City, the magicalest place on earth. I arrived so young and pretty and thin and filled with loads of mirth. Then I barfed in front of a cop in Times Square. I had my first martini. Yes, I was underage. Then I wiped my mouth and asked the cop for a ride home. He was like, no. Then I moved into a dumpster with a married couple who promptly got divorced, not because of me. She cheated. But that still wasn't as traumatic as when my other roommate suddenly got famous. Good for her. Cause I've had 10 whole years in New York City and I wouldn't change a thing. Except my career, my college major, and that one night with Shane, he still won't talk to me. Why, Shane, why? We never said goodbye. Was it all? Because I shit your bed. Probably had something to do with it. <clears throat> it's been 10 whole years in New York City and I've been spit on thrice, thrice. Not during sex, just on the street. Different people, three separate times. And one was an old lady who also tried to light me on fire. She was my favorite. <clears throat> Anyway, I got my first job at the door of the nightclub board adjusted by the bouncers, looking like a bitch, like they literally told me, don't talk, just look at everybody like this. <laughs> then I was fired for a lot of reasons, and I showed up six years later just to tell them I'm doing fine. But then I forgot my wallet, so they had to count my drinks. Yeah, the guy who fired me was like, don't worry about it, sweetie. I'll get this one. Once I got asked out by Ryan Gosling's brother and the sex was bad. Then I learned that Ryan Gosling doesn't have a brother. Yes, 10 whole years in New York City, what a stupid thing to do. 
Cause it's real rough, wow, it's shitty, but I don't need to tell that to you, Shane. Why, Shane, why won't you give our love a try? Are you still mad about the dookie in your bed? I said I was sorry. <laughs> All right, that was my 10 years in New York City. And uh, I think that you know as much as you need to know about me. Thank you so much for having me. Cillian. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> that is an eventful 10 years. Like that's... You know what? Yeah, that's what happens when you, uh, you know, like I studied, I decided to study women's studies on a whim. Like what is, like I don't know what's wrong with me. You studied women's studies, but you didn't, you still fell for the Ryan Gosling brother line. I st oh my God. Well, I studied women's studies, so that is exactly why I bartend. <laughs> and that's where I met this guy. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I for a lot of stuff. You're getting a lot of applause and a lot of uh, awesome compliments in the comments here. <laughs> Thank you. There's nothing better than singing right up. Someone's like, she's the most amazing singer in the whole world, Tally. <laughs> Yeah, well, you are. I mean, just, I mean, this is an exact example of it. You did so good. Okay, so you, okay, so um, I gotta go to the cards now. Um, you, uh, you, <laughs> you've explained 10 years worth of New York City in just that one song. Um, and you did mention the getting spit in your, your own mouth uh, by <laughs> a patron. Uh, but what else have you been doing during quarantine? What are you, I mean, you got COVID. I did get COVID, so this is actually my longest break from bartending in a long time, and God, don't I don't miss it at fucking all. Uh, <laughs> turns out I don't. I like to go to bed, not at 5 a.m. Um, what have I been doing? Okay, so I've been stuck in my shitty apartment. This is my just a wall. I have a teal room because people moved out, so now I have an apartment. So it's a piece of shit. So there were cockroaches falling from the from the lights, the lights were so old. We were cooking two days worth of food in like, and right as soon as we're like, it's perfect, it's almost done. The cockroach falls right in the saucepan from above. And we were like, we're getting new lights. And I didn't, I'm not a, I'm not an electrician. I wouldn't, I, I never identified that way. And so I had to watch a, so many hours of like YouTube tutorials. Anyway, so I replaced all the lights. I installed a fucking chandelier. In my shitty apartment, it's like putting lipstick on a pig, you know? <laughs> I'll only do it once. <laughs> You're going to have a real Phantom of the Opera moment where it just, like, like third act, it's just going to, like, come right on. <laughs> it's really small, like, my apartment is. <laughs> It'll be just more like, ah. <laughs> so. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, that's awesome. That's so crazy. So, um, okay, so so do you, did, wait, you recently got COVID, or how come you've been taking such I a long break? I got COVID back in March. Okay, right. that's what I thought. Yeah. And and now I um now I got a dog. Uh for I I, I got a dog for the depression. Fine, I'll show you. Come here. Yes, please, 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 please. Oh, you guys are in for a treat. Now we got a dog guest. That's incredible. This is this is Arthur, and he's a bad puppy. He's so bad. Oh, Arthur, my goodness gracious. Look at that smile. Oh high five. Yeah, he doesn't do anything. He's uh, I got him for the depression, but it turns out I actually have to take care of him. So oh, not well about all that. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm so glad that you've got a puppy, and I'm so glad that you've got new lights, and I'm so thankful that you came on the show tonight. So thank you so much for performing and for hanging oh my out with God, me. Today. Thank you so much, and this is a fantastic show, and you're doing a great job. And you, honestly, you had a really great first guest. So just keep it up. Thank you so much. All right, everybody, Salian. Oh, yeah. Okay, see, that was guest. That's how we That's how we start the show, with incredible guest. Um, but now it's time for segment, <laughs> where we share an incredible segment with you. Um, like I've done the last two shows, I there's usually some sort of monologue or some sort of topical jokes. Uh, 
not not my my strong suit. I really want to get into the and friends part of the Sarah Kennedy and friends. So I actually turned to one of my friends, Tyler Jackson, uh, to share one of the things that he's been doing on the internet with you, which will pretty much take the space of a monologue for tonight. Tyler Jackson is an incredible comedian. He performs like when things are normal all over the country and does uh, late late breakfast. Uh, he has been doing the two minute news minute, and that's exactly what you guys are going to see here. So please enjoy the two minute. News Minute by Tyler Jackson. And if you like this, you got to send money to his Venmo. It's TJ Axon. Man, he... That Venmo name is uh, near and dear to my heart because it's very similar to the way that I do my online names too. All right, so I'll show this again at the end because he, he's going to earn it. Uh, but get your Venmos ready. Here's Tyler Jackson's two-minute News Minute. Boop, 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 boop. Hey everybody, I'm Tyler Jackson, it's November 13th, unless you're watching Sarah Kennedy and Friends, in which case, hi, nice to meet you, happy Thursday. It's time for the two minute news minute. Let's start the clock. On Tuesday, Pfizer Pharmaceuticals announced early study results claiming their COVID vaccine is a whopping 90% effective, which is great, but because this is 2020 and there's no such thing as good news anymore, that same day, their chief executive also sold off $5.6 million worth of stock. One story with COVID news and potential insider trading? Uh-oh, I think we have a 2020 bingo. Everybody wants a free bag of Fritos. Fritos, because you deserve a treat, but not like a good treat. Once a vaccine is ready, Ticketmaster is working on a plan to require future concert goers to verify their vaccine status before attending events. And knowing Ticketmaster, they'll add it to ticket prices as a $24.99 less likely to die from this Baja Men concert surcharge. On Tuesday, a suitor from the current season of The Bachelorette tested positive for COVID. And if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Do not get in the hot tub during a pandemic. That thing is like a big bowl of virus chowder right now. The tiny Pacific island nation of Vanuatu got its first case of COVID this week. It was brought to the island by, you guessed it, someone traveling from the United States. A spokesman for Vanuatu said, hey, you guys keep that crap in Hawaii. Come on. By the way, if you're enjoying this, you can follow me on Twitter here at T. Jackson to check out Two Minute News Minute videos multiple times a week. Earlier this week, Donald Trump appointed loyalists to top Pentagon positions in a seeming grab for military power, but also the Trump campaign released a list of over 3,000 instances of purported voter fraud, hundreds of which were actually just military members voting from where they're stationed. This is classic Trump because he gets to pretend he's the boss while also actively crapping on the soldiers he's leading like it's a new season of The Apprentice. Oops, all veterans edition. On Monday, it was announced that the longest serving inmate for marijuana crimes in the country will be released before Christmas. The Florida man is currently serving a 90 year sentence and good Lord, 90 years for marijuana. I bet he killed a guy with a gun made out of weed. That's the only way I can make sense out of that. The Japanese town of Takikawa has combated their recent bear problem by deploying monster wolf robots around their town to scare the bears away. But what will they get to scare away the monster wolf robots? My money is on giant spider Draculas. Finally, a company is building towers in Kenya to deliver wireless internet throughout the country using beams of light, which sounds an awful lot like a lighthouse you can watch cat videos on. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh man, you guys, that is Tyler Jackson's two minute news minute. He got right under the wire there with that two minute thing. Um, hold on, I'm trying to get, I don't want it to play again like I did with the last video. You know what I mean? Oh, no, hey, see, I told you. November How dare he? Not him. It's not his fault. He's Tyler Jackson. He's amazing. You should uh, send money to him on Venmo. Uh, and I'll make that bigger. You got to see it. Tyler Jackson, T. Jackson on Venmo. He, he even referenced it too. Um, so please send him, throw him a couple bucks. I mean, those air horn noises don't come cheap and uh, he needs the, all the support he can get. Uh, like I said, you can also, I think that's his um, Twitter handle too. So please go find him, follow him, love him. He's fantastic. Um, okay, time for guest. <laughs> I need the slideshow. The slideshow is very important to me, um, as is our next guest. Uh, I am so excited that she agreed to perform and spend some time on the show here tonight. Uh, she is a local Albuquerque, New Mexico comic. Uh, she's performed all over. I've got some other really cool superlative stuff that I'm going to mention about her uh, after her set. But for now, you just get to hear all of her awesome jokes. So please welcome Carla Vasquez. <laughs> Oh, I'm still dancing to stuff. Hey, Sarah Kennedy, thank you so much for having me. Sarah Kennedy's great. The last time I saw her, I had uh, just gotten a neck procedure done for my arthritis. Um, had my neck nerves cauterized, and Sarah and her fiance were so nice and gave me some gumbo and like beef stew and cornbread, like homemade, into that. So thanks to them. 
But yeah, I, um, I had this procedure done for my arthritis, which is starting to feel a lot better, but it still feels numb. And I think that's a lasting effect. Um, and now I'm kind of afraid when I pop my neck that like I'll accidentally break it. Uh, I even looked it up. I looked it up online because an unreliable source told me that breaking a neck is as easy as opening a new jar of peanut butter. And that's like the easiest jar to open in the kitchen. So I was a little worried. So I looked on Google. And Google, first of all, was like really worried because I was like, how to break your own neck? And then Google is like, dude, are you OK? And I'm like, I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to do the opposite. And Google told me it's pretty hard um, unless you're actually on PCP. But good news, I don't do PCP. Like, I don't even know where to get PCP. If PCP was in a lineup, I wouldn't know what it looked like. So I have no idea. So I'm not breaking my neck anytime soon. Yeah. Um, I'm single. Uh, that happened during during the COVID for, for the better. I'm single. And uh, I started thinking, you know, while I'm taking this time to, like, better myself and just ride out the quarantine, you know, red flags in a future mate. Um, so far, the only red flag I have to look out for is if somebody orders soup on the first date as a main course. Um, I mean... <laughs> Soup on the first date is the main course. I'm probably looking at a lot of really awkward silences because that person is boring. Anybody can make soup. My like rule of thumb is I won't order out anything I can't make at home. And like anyone can make soup. Take any 10 ingredients from your kitchen, just throw it in a pot with some salt and water, blam, you got soup. Um, I don't know. And then it's like, what are they gonna order for dessert? Peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Like, come on, dude. Um, you know, and then I start to worry, like, are they sick? Should they be on this date? You know, did they get dental work done recently and they can't really chew? The only time it's okay is if uh, you have, like, a Panera lunch date and um, you order the half sandwich, half soup. But then again, you're on a Panera lunch date, so that's also kind of a, a red flag there. Um, well, I'm, you know, during this quarantine, I'm trying to lose my quarantine weight that I've put on. So I started running again um, and I'm going to start borrowing a dog to go running with me. And I decided to go running um, because gyms are expensive and uh, so is a new wardrobe and all of my underwear are turning into thongs and those are really like uncomfortable. So I'm borrowing my friend's dog because uh, unlike Sally Ann, I'm not ready to get myself an Arthur like she talked about. Not ready for my own dog. So, um, you know, I'm thinking maybe... Maybe in the spring I'll get like a plant, like start with a plant and then work my way up to a pet. Maybe like a succulent, like start with a succulent. I don't know. Right now I'm just doing a puzzle. That's about the only, uh, about the amount of commitment I'm willing to put forth right now. Yeah, so trying to lose weight because I don't want to be chubby now at this part of my life. Like I want to wait to be chubby when I'm like 80 years old because there's nothing cuter than like an old round lady like a round grandma and like i want to shrink a lot because i'm 5a i'm hoping i can shrink i'm mexican-american and be mexican our disney princess is coco and like she's super adorable right so i want to be like coco when i grow up um i did put on jeans to be here today i don't know why because uh you're only seeing like this part of me but i put on jeans and now i'm feeling like a walking chorizo kind of like a can of cinnamon roll is just like unbutton my top Jean button is like pfft. this button's doing God's work right now. Um, yeah, uh, I also, oh, I shaved my mustache to be here too. I was growing a sweet handlebar, um, but I shaved that. That's also how you, know, you know I'm Mexican. You take me home, there's Carla, and you wake up to Carlos. Got that 5 a.m. shadow. Anyway, so you're welcome. I shave for you. That's all the time I'm doing, guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, Carla, thank you so much. What's up? Yeah, thank you. That was amazing. Thank you so much for <laughs> telling jokes and being here tonight. Thanks for having me, dude. This is fun. This is fun. Also, like, yeah. Yesterday was your comedy anniversary. Dude, yeah. Yesterday was my one year anniversary of doing comedy. Woo! Yeah, that's a big deal. I, like, I started one open mic and just didn't stop. And then, yeah, well, COVID hit, but still trying to do what I can, right? Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Congratulations. Thank uh, you. You're in a beautiful space. Uh, do you want to tell everybody a little bit about it? Yeah, I took, over my, I took over my dad's office because uh, uh, my stepmom has like a ring light. I don't know what a <laughs> fancy. And then my dad's like, take over my office. It's very New Mexico. We've got a rug. We've got like going this way, picture white sands, something else over here. I don't know. My dad is really happy about his office. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we got a chance to show it off. It's gorgeous. <laughs> 
Um, okay, so uh, we performed together uh, when stand-up comedy really was in existence. Um, yeah. And um, you know, there's still there's still a couple spots where you can get out and do some things, which is awesome mm-hmm. and a cool opportunity. Um, but during COVID, you and I got to do a really um, unique up like step thing together. Um, we made a movie together. Yes, I'm so so stoked that you like invited me to do that. That was so much fun. It was cool. So uh, if you guys are watching at home right now, um, we we made uh, a COVID safe film set during COVID. Um, it's called The Fabulous Name TBDs and it's a mockumentary. And uh, I mean, it's, it's, I, I was, I stepped in at the last minute to be in it, but Carla is like the, the main star of it. And then um, we play uh, two bandmates who uh, are just not very good at what they're doing and a little delusional, but trying to make it through COVID. Um, <laughs> And uh, that day was so fun. We were just hanging out uh, six feet apart and with mess yes. uh, at our <laughs> in, in my apartment complex right down the street uh, in downtown. Uh, and it was so fun. It was a great project to work on. And Sarah, you're being so modest. You say like something we made. You and your fiance like wrote it. You ended up starring it. You guys were helping direct it, shoot it, set up everything. I just showed up and like <laughs> said lines. Half of them I made up. So. <laughs> So yeah, but it was so much fun. Like, yeah, you're downplaying it. You guys are amazing and talented. It was so cool. Like it was really because uh, Kelly, my fiance, and I, we did we did write it together, and it was uh, like we did one weekend during quarantine of like uh, let's write it, and then we did the one weekend where we all got to shoot it together, and then we had one more weekend where uh, Kelsey Leo's um, uh, d- edited it for us, and he yeah. is incredible, and um, he really brought it together, and then because of that, we've gotten to be in like a whole bunch of film festivals. Oh yeah, that too. You're downplaying that. We're in the Way Out West <laughs> Film Festival, and then the Atlanta All Laughs Film Festival. Am I saying that right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and that's the one that we won Best Mockumentary at. What's up? I wish yeah. I had Tyler's air horn noises. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Best Mockumentary. That was awesome. Yes. Yeah. So actually, um, if you're cool with that, I brought a little clippy. Do you want to watch a clip? Yeah. Um, yes, let's do it. Okay, so why don't you set up what we're about to see? Yeah, so uh, we're like musicians in the band and we keep having problems. We're running in problems because um, I have a cheese addiction, which is kind of an issue because we're trying to be vegan in Sarah. But <laughs> uh, yeah, that's exactly right. Okay, so here is our clip. Yeah, um, yeah, the fabulous name TBDs. You eat one string cheese and you think, it's okay, I can handle this? All of a sudden you're into baby bells. You know, we were trying out a name for a while, Vegan and Sarah. Yeah, that's pretty good, especially for a cover band. Yeah, it is. It is really good, actually. But I thought we should actually like walk the walk, you know, either be vegan or be Sarah. And she didn't want to change her name. So we said no animal products whatsoever. And we thought we could build a fan base with it, you know? but she couldn't even last a day. I caught her in an alleyway and she was just chugging, chugging half gallons of milk. Before you know it, you're onto the hard stuff. Asiago, Parmesan, Manchego. You hear the stories and you just never think it's gonna be you. Oh my gosh. No, touch your face. Um, um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Are you anyway the cheese please? Ah, that's awesome. And times. Um, that yeah, was, wait, hold on. One second, hold on. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. We're about to, whoa, gosh. Every time, man. I'm going to get so much better at this every time I do it. You're a, there we go. Now we're back. Um, yeah, that's, it's just such a funny part of the whole thing. So, um, and you just, I got to yeah. eat a lot of baby bells. <laughs> <laughs> I love that joke too. The like, then you're onto the hard stuff, Manchego, and like, like hard cheeses. Like that was that's a Kelly joke, and I just thought that was so <laughs> funny. That was like one of my favorites. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Okay, so uh, I've got I've got you for one more segment that we're gonna do together, and it's really something special. Um, <laughs> I'm let me I'm gonna bring this back in because I've got to do a little bit of an intro. Oh yeah. 
Okay, cool. So uh, this next uh, segment is brought to you by Richie B's, a local pizza restaurant here in New Mexico that is, um, they make everything from scratch and they do incredible lunch specials. Uh, they've got like a big old slice just in general and a drink for five bucks. Um, and then a whole bunch of other things that you can check out just by um, searching for them on the internet and going to visit them um, on the corner of the San Pedro, Louisiana, Louisiana and Montgomery. Um, so, okay, the, the graphic right now is just so big. It, it's almost like it's what's about to happen right now. Um, we, uh, we're gonna do a little bit of a pizza eating contest if you're cool with that, Carla. Are you up for the challenge? Am I? <laughs> hey, wait a second. <laughs> Was it not time? <laughs> That's great. That's great. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things that makes Richie B's so special is that they offer monster slices of pizza um, that you can't imagine how big they are. Um, I will, although Kelly is right here and she's going to bring my slice of pizza to me. Um, thank you so much. Yeah. This is my slice of pizza. I, oh, yeah, the um, boxes are obscenely huge. Yeah, this is, it is a pretty dang giant. And inside is just my single slice of pizza. Did you really cut yours to be a slice of pizza? Was this you cheated? Thing? Yeah, the whole thing is a slice. Dad, get me the rest. <laughs> I mean, we got a minute. I don't know. Sure, no problem. I mean, okay, so if we're going to do an eating contest. It's a very, it, this seems like a very David and Goliath kind of situation if that's your slice. Wow. And I this is it. my slice of pizza. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, I'm willing to do it. This is super fair. Yeah, I know. I'm just gonna dunk mine in my water. Um, so if you've never been to Richie B's before and ordered a monster slice, this is how big this this is a slice of pizza at Richie B's. Um, it's totally available for you. Um I didn't realize that this was a slice, dude. That's why I cut it down to this because I'm like, this is a big slice. That is like well, okay, yeah. so here is here is another really funny piece of trivia. Uh there is an ongoing timing contest for how fast a person can finish a monster slice at Richie B's. The current record is five minutes and three seconds or right around there. Um, and I do remember when I dropped off your slice of pizza, Carla, you were like, why would it take a person that long to finish the slice of yeah, pizza? Yeah, I thought, I thought I got it. And even my dad's like, oh, it's not right. We're idiots. I screwed the whole I mean, it's cool. Yeah. I, I don't this. mind. I don't feel daunted by this. I feel like I could get a little bit further in my slice of pizza than you are going to be able to get into yours. Um, I don't even know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I can't I, because I need two hands to hold my one singular slice of pizza. I do need Kelly in here to be our timer. Um, thank you. Hi, Kelly. Um, so Kelly, please put a minute on the clock. You got it. Um, <laughs> and then Carla. Uh, so we're going to like each most. Yeah, just do do your darndest and uh, um, do the math in your size. How much you're gonna eat? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, please let's let's try to keep, like mine isn't. I'm not holding mine closer to the camera. Like, there's no camera trickery here. No, mine is like legitimately half a pizza is what I've got here. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's so huge. that woman on the clock. Yes. All right. So whoever eats the most of their slice of pizza, and I, we gotta do like proportional. <laughs> All right, ready? Just yeah. All right, and I usually dip mine in ranch, so. All right, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> you have to channel Kobayashi, the Japanese dude who's hot dog. 15 seconds. <laughs> what? I gotta post a show yeah. after this. Mm. <laughs> You're supposed to have the whole slice. Why did you cut yours? 30 seconds left. They ruin everything. <laughs> uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm around. 
seconds. Fifteen more seconds. Ten. Okay. Nine. Oh God. Eight. Oh no. Seven. Oh. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. That's in. Stop. Okay. Down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Carla. Oh, yeah, pretty far into yours. That's pretty good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and finish. <laughs> I got about this far. <laughs> you didn't burn right? What's happening? <laughs> so. <laughs> well, you know. All right. Well, now I know. I love pizza. Yeah, the monster slices really. <laughs> oh oh yes, like pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so, whether you like Carla sliced pizzas or whether you like SK sliced pizzas, please stop by Richie B's and um, they've got slices of all sizes. Okay, Carla, thank you so much for joining me. I <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put I'm gonna put up Richie B's logo one more time too because I'm Thank still you. chewing a little bit in my jaw. Sorry, sorry for cutting your slice, Richie B's blasphemous. <laughs> it just means that you've got more pizza for everyone. Yeah. yeah awesome. All right, time. Carla. Have a good night. Right. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Thank you for having me. Right, oh man. Segment time, which is good because my, really my job, I wasn't expecting to really put in like a minute's worth of work, but that was a lot of pizza. Um, thank you so much again for all of you guys for joining me. Uh, we've got so much awesome stuff coming to you from night, coming to you tonight, full of pizza, uh, <laughs> more than just um, Richie B's. We also have uh, this video that was uh, graciously. Uh, given to us from Mike Ogden. Mike Ogden is uh, not just a comedian per performer here in Albuquerque, although he is both of those things and he's brilliant. Um, he's also a pretty awesome movie maker and also <clears throat> a fantastic photographer. Um, and this is an opportunity to see uh, <laughs> uh, to see some of his movie making skills. Um, but if you get a chance to, uh, I will show you guys please go follow him on Instagram. He is blackmike31 on Instagram. Also, I will tell you, I was introduced to him as Black Mike. Uh, so I've only known him as Black Mike. Um, and the longer that goes on and the more he gets known as, as Mike Ogden, the, the less I feel comfortable calling him uh, that original name. So Mike Ogden, fantastic. Uh, please enjoy the sketch by him uh, called How to Rob, uh, featuring a whole slew of amazing performers from New Mexico. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you gonna do it, video? Are you gonna play? You should play. Hold on. There we go. Nobody cutting off my cake. I got bills to pay. Wait a second, stop right there. Thinking about robbing this barbershop for some quick cash? Don't want your cable cut off? Hell no. No, no, no. There's a couple things you want to know to pull off a successful robbery. Like what? I'm glad you asked. Just remember, cash. C. Case the joint. A. Aggressive attitude. S. Shakedown. H. Hurry, hurry. Get the fuck out of there. Think you're ready? Let's find out. 
Let's watch Rufus pull off a successful robbery, one of our professionals. Remember, case the joint. Hey! Now that's aggressive. Hey! You know what this is? Business as usual. No cute stuff. Thank you very much. Oh, I see. 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 Oh, Hurry, hurry. Get the fuck out of there, Rufus. Now that you've seen the done by a pro, think you're ready? Hell yeah. Well, let's do it. Don't forget, case the joint. Damn, camera's at. We don't need them. It's rather huge. Fuck it. Aggressive attitude. Ah! Not aggressive. The shakedown never Man, give me one. Skip the step four. Hurry, hurry. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. These days, we understand times can be rough, but things can be even rougher if you don't have the practice and the know-how. Please, don't end up like this goon. We have several videos to choose from. How to start an extortion scam. How to sell weed legally or illegally how to steal somebody's identity please order our catalog don't end up like this guy yeah all right well you know um usually i, I we keep this to a pg-13 and we try to like uh limit the uh <laughs> the um F words to, you know, I don't know, one, an episode, but that video, so worth it that uh, we, we let a few more slide. Uh, so again, please, uh, I think a dollar an F word, that would be the, the best way to Venmo. Uh, to, to, I mean, if you see my Ogden, Mike Ogden in real life, I realize that this is his Instagram and not his Venmo. Uh, if you see him in real life, please give him a dollar for every F word that you heard in this video. Um, in the meantime and in between time, please go follow him on Instagram. He is blackmike 31 on Instagram and he posts uh, some of his beautiful photography and uh, other really cool stuff that he's, do he's doing. He's uh, a real treasure here in New Mexico. So, alrighty. Oh, it's guest time. I'm super excited for our final guest tonight. Uh, he is a legitimate wizard. Um, and uh, one of my dear friends, uh, please welcome, oop, oop, imagine Nathan. Hey, Nathan, I, I think I played uh, the music over the rest of your name. Imagine Nathan. Imagine Nathan. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. What, what do you got going on back there? Is your house oh, on fire? No, there's Ooh. so much. I've got incense going. I've got the green screen going. I've got lights. I've got, I've got a whole little like concert set up going in here for me. So. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, um, yeah. So number one, love your hat. Um, that was a compliment that even from the fellow performers tonight, they, they love your hat. Um, <laughs> also, okay. So when you lean in and we get a chance mm -hmm. to see yeah. or every once in a while, we get a right. chance to see your incredible logo oh, right yeah, there too. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you designed that yourself. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Um, talk, talk me through the concept of it. Um, yeah. Uh, ever since, um, I quit drinking, uh, two years ago, I just celebrated my anniversary um, I needed something to fill that time and uh, metaphysics um, became that void. Um, and I've been a theater artist my whole life and theater is magic. Uh, so uh, metaphysics just kind of fell naturally into, into my lap. 
Um, and it's really just about self-discovery and through knowing yourself, uh, self-empowerment. And uh, through that, I became Imaginathan Modern Wizard and uh, finally designed this great logo. Um, and I've been taking these photos with my dog in the morning too. So I, I put that in on top of the photo uh, of, the, of the sunrise. Uh, and, and that's just really kind of been my like going uh, like force uh, in the morning is like getting up with my dog, watching the sunrise, having a like beautiful morning meditation. Um, so that's been really great. Yeah, that's awesome. And honestly, if, if you don't follow Nathan on the internet, you should because uh, his dog Gaia is so sweet and amazing. And it's so nice to see the adventures you guys go on together. I love, I love all of your, your posts. <laughs> yeah, she's a sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. And so I have you, I mean, you're doing so many projects right now. Um, and yeah. you've done so many cool things that I've got a bazillion questions for you. Uh, but one thing I do want to mention before we dive into all of that is that I got a reading for my mom for her birthday from you. And, um, it made her birthday so special during, uh, I mean, she, she had a COVID birthday, so it was a way that I could give her something and have her connect with somebody who was like, so incredible as yourself um, and make her birthday something special. So thank you for doing that. I just wanted to thank oh, you in person. It was an honor to, to talk with her and do that. It was so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so here's the deal. You are just about to jump into a metaphysics artist's workshop. What's that about? Yeah, that's with uh, Self Sovereign Healing. That's with uh, Ash Brown. She's a uh, local New Mexican, but she's in Brooklyn right now and she's a witch. Um, and she just started a new, a new business, Self-Sovereign Healing. Um, and we're going to be doing an artist healing artist uh, series. Um, so once a month, she has a different artist on. So for the month of December, I'll be in residency with her. And we'll be doing workshops and interviews and all kinds of fun stuff. So uh, follow me, follow Self-Sovereign Healing on Instagram. You'll get all those details. Yeah, that's incredible. Wow. Yeah. What a cool thing to do too, because there's so many artists that are in need of healing right now. So thank you for, for, for undertaking that. Yeah. Um, okay. So we talked about this a little bit earlier too. And this, I mean, this gets a little bit away from the imagination stuff. Um, sure. but you, I mean, you were on Breaking Bad. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So th that's like a big credit. <laughs> And like you, I mean, you got a chance to really kind of crack up everybody on set too, right? Like you did, you did some stuff. Yeah, I was I was kind of the I was kind of the class clown. Um, so uh, I'm in the I'm in the first three episodes of Breaking Bad uh, in the front row um, in the chemistry class, and uh, it's it's really crazy how I got to be there. I went to a casting call at UNM like two years before, and uh, they just took your picture and you left. Um, so then I got a call and they were like, "Hey, this is AMC with Breaking Bad. Or, this is AMC." Um, Vince Gilligan found your headshot and he wants you to be in this project. Uh, and it's about a high school chemistry teacher that gets cancer and starts making meth. And they told me that, like, and I was like, <laughs> that sounds terrible, but I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And what a cool experience. Yeah, it was so cool. Uh, the first episode was at Rio Rancho High School where I went to high school. Um, so that was really cool to see my chemistry class. Um, but I was in college at the time. And then um, the other ones they built in the studio. So then that was the movie magic of like walking in this big warehouse and then opening a door and then you're in your high school chemistry class. Uh, but uh, even though I was the teacher's pet in the, in the scenes, I was really into the chemistry. Uh, I was the class clown on set. And um, I drew a picture of Brian Cranston as uh, Geraldo Rivera because he had that really stupid mustache. Um, and I said, why is Geraldo Rivera teaching us chemistry? And uh, it was this big caricature. And I secretly sent it around the class and all the students signed it. And at the end of the day, I gave it to Brian Cranston. He cracked up. He loved it. He's like, this is going on my fridge. So I, yeah. I hope that somewhere on Brian Cranston's fridge is my caricature of him. <laughs> That's so awesome. That's so incredible. <laughs> I love it. Oh, you mentioned earlier about your, so your uh, sobriety journey. And yeah. you just celebrated two years. I did, yeah. That's, that's amazing. Thank Congratulations. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So 
But then you're also, you're doing like a project right now where, <laughs> explain it to people, like you you know it better than anybody else. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was in the beer industry for a long time, seven or eight years. Uh, so I got really into the education and, uh, and the beer tasting. Uh, so without that in my life, um, I've taken up uh, sparkling water. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So uh, I have been starting analyzing and evaluating sparkling water as if it were beer. So this is my favorite right now, the AHA Apple Ginger. I give it 9.5 out of 10 stars. Woo! It's it's fantastic. I'm I as a ginger though, I personally love ginger. Um but it it just hits hits all the right notes for me. So cheers uh, AHA Sponsor me. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Richie B's sponsored us. You could get, <laughs> get your little aha moment going right now. <laughs> uh, so what what is it that you look for in a good seltzer? Like what makes that aha better than say like a LaCroix? Ooh. Um, for some reason, the, the LaCroix and the Bubblies, or as I call them, the mm -hmm. Bublés. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Uh, they... Um, they have a really chemically taste to them. Like they just don't taste natural. And uh, this one like has just a really natural and kind of calm. Um, and they have an apple in the front and then kind of spicy ginger in the back. It, it, it has that like flavor combination is really nice. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, also, you're getting some, you ever tried the Soleil? Soleil? Soleil so hey, is Soleil's, Soleil's pretty good. Soleil is pretty good. It's a great price too. It's like, Three bucks for 12 cans, so you can't go wrong with that. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Um, okay, so Nathan, uh, I know you mentioned a little bit earlier that people should follow you and where to follow you, but real fast because I got to move on to the next little segment and close up the yeah. show. Uh, what, what's the best way that people can find you? Uh, follow me on Instagram, Imagine Nathan the Modern Wizard. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Nathan Simpson Cofelt, or my Facebook page, Imagine Nathan the Modern Wizard, or themodernwizard.com, just the launch today. Ooh, that's so nice. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much, Nathan, for spending time with me. I, I really appreciate you being on the show tonight. Oh, thank you so much. It was an honor. Thank you, friend. Love cool. you. Have a good night. Love you, too. Okay, y'all. So <clears throat> we're getting down uh, to the like nuts and bolts of what we're doing here. Um, hold on, just making sure we got it. Okay, cool. Um, so here... I don't get to do the show in a bubble. I do the show in cahoots with the Box Performance Space and Improv Theater in Albuquerque, New Mexico. They are gracious enough to let me be on their YouTube and their Twitch channels. And then also to get to simulcast this on the uh, SpecScript Twitch channel, um, another project that I'm involved with and all the, all the people that I just, like all the people involved with the projects that I just named are my favorite people in the entire world. Um, so please look up everything that those people do and what I'm, excited to share with you guys is the best way for you to see all of the rest of the boxes programming. Um, so you can go to their website, theboxabq.com. Uh, they've got shows every weekend on Fridays. It's the one night Stanley's on Saturdays. It's the show at home. And then they've got a whole bunch of other programming that happens in and around that every single weekend. I'm one of them, the second and fourth Thursday of every month. Uh, there's a lot. So the best way for you to keep track of it all is to go to theboxabq.com. And then uh, once we can perform in real life again, that will also be a great resource for you to find out all the amazing stuff that's happening here in Albuquerque. Uh, I've got one more thing for you here tonight, and I'm going to leave you on it. Um, I've got an amazing comedian friend uh, that I met in New York. His name is Zangolia, and he makes some of the best videos that you have seen on the internet, even if you didn't realize that you saw it from him. Um, and he just created this incredible tribute to Alex Trebek, who sadly passed away this past week. Um, and I'm gonna just leave the show by showing you his clip. Um, so number one, Thank you to all of the people uh, who were on the show tonight, Sally Ann Hall, Tyler Jackson's uh, Two Minute News Minute, Carla Vasquez, and our movie, The Fabulous Name, TBDs, Imagine Nathan, and Mike Ogden for submitting How to Rob, which also featured, I don't know if you saw it, Corey Herrera, Louise uh, Powell, like so many amazing uh, other New Mexican performers. Um, but here is uh, Alex Trebek uh, is interested in you for a whole, a whole dang minute. Uh, have a good night, you guys. Thank you so much. You also knit and crochet. You have a unique laugh. You won 
a writing contest. You had the few drinks on Santorini. You were kissed by a sea lion. You were escorted out of an apple store. You were a Christmas elf. You look after old folks. You were late for a flight. You were an underwear model. You wrote an essay. You flew to London. You worked at a colonial farm. You're looking fit today. You get applause and money. You did get to eat pizzas. You had a different kind of teacher. You climbed some of the pyramids. You're studying a different sport. You're a cat person. I'd like to know about your podcast. You practice Zen meditation. You make your own bagels. <laughs> okay, so that was it. Um, please, if you've got that money, uh, pass it over to Zane Golia on Venmo. He is Zane Dash Golia. Um, and that's it for tonight. Thank you again for joining me. Um, and we'll see you next time. Thank you again.